Hello, good afternoon everyone. This is Mr. Ong again and welcome to the Mr. Ong Math Lesson. Today we're going to talk about the area. So area is different from perimeter. Perimeter is calculating the length outside the outside edge of a object, while the area is the amount of space within a two-dimensional shape. It's also the number of square units it encloses. And remember, the units for area is always unit squared. So you could have centimeter squared, meter squared, kilometer squared, and so forth. Okay, we shall look at the definition now. Suppose we have a rectangle, okay? If the rectangle is 4 cm by 3 cm, okay? The conventional way is to find the area is 4 by 3, or this is the length times the width, and the answer is going to be 12 centimeters squared. What it actually means is that we are going to break this rectangle into square. So for example, four centimeter, you can make four column. Okay, so one, two, three, four, and three centimeter width, you can make into three rows. So in other words, if I were to count how many squares are there in a rectangle, you can find that it is 12 centimeter. And that's why the area of that rectangle is 12 centimeters squared. Now we shall look at some of the other common areas that we're going to learn. The first thing we're going to learn is called the a triangle. Can anyone remember what is the area of a triangle? The area, the formula to calculate area of a triangle is base times height divided by 2. So the most important thing you know that the height and the base have to be 90 degrees to each other. So you need to identify which of the base of the triangle to use. It could be this base, it could be that base, or also the other base. So for example, if I have a triangle and you have a length of 10 meters, 10 cm, this is 8 cm, and this is also 8 cm, and the height for that triangle is 6 cm. So you need to first identify which of the base you should use. Is that this 8 or that 8 or the 10? Because if the base and the height have to be 90 degrees, so the actual base you should use is the 10 cm. So the base is 10 multiplied by the height, which is 6, divide by 2 and 60 divided by 2 will give you 30 and the unit should be 10 meter squared. Good. We shall do another example now. If your triangle looks the other way around now, okay, so if that is 4 cm, that is 6 cm and that is 8 cm, and the given height is 5 cm, height equal to 5 cm. If I were to ask you to calculate the area of that rectangle, the triangle, the area is always base times height divided by 2. Now, you need to identify if the height is 5, the base have to be 90 degrees to the height. So in this case, it cannot be 6 or 8. So the base have to be 4, in that case it will be 4 times 5 divided by 2, and the answer is 10 centimeter squared. Good, we shall proceed. Now, what happens if you have a triangle that looks like that? I want to find the area of that triangle. If that is 3 cm and that is 2 cm and that is 90 degrees and the height is 6 cm and the, the slant height is 10 cm. Okay, that looks a bit harder. So the area is again base times height divided by 2. Okay, so which base, the height, you have to be 90 degrees to the base, so the height is 6, okay? And the uh, base, 
Do you use three or use five? If you use five, you have to find the area of this whole triangle. So in this case, the base has to be three and you, the height is six and the answer is going to be nine centimeter squared. Good, well done. We will continue now. The next area we are going to look at is the difference between a parallelogram and a trapezium. Okay, we shall go to the parallelogram. A parallelogram has two sets of parallel lines. So in this case, for example, if I draw a figure that looks like that, and this is parallel to that, and that is parallel to that, then it is a parallelogram. Similarly, a rectangle is also a parallelogram because these two sides are parallel, and the other two sides are also parallel. So to calculate the area of a parallelogram, you just need to have base times height. So in this case, you need to calculate the base here, the base, for example, this is 10 cm, and this is 6 cm, and the height is 4 cm. So remember, the height has to be perpendicular to the base. In this case, so we shall use the 10 cm multiplied by the height, which is 4 cm, and the answer is going to be 40 cm squared. So the area of a parallelogram is just the base, multiply by the perpendicular height. So what's the difference between a parallelogram and a trapezium? A trapezium on the other hand has only a trapezium unlike the parallelogram has only one set of parallel sides. What does it mean? So if I have a trapezium that looks like that, this may be parallel to this, and the other two do not need to be parallel, that is a trapezium. So the formula to find the area of a trapezium is A plus B divided by 2 times the perpendicular height. So what's A and B? A and B are just the length of the two parallel sides. For example, if I have the height as 4 cm, and this is 6 cm, and this is 10 cm, and this will give arbitrary 5, and that is another 5 cm. Okay, so if I were to calculate the area of a trapezium, we look at the two parallel sides. These two are parallel, so we get the average of it. So 6 plus 10, 6 plus 10, the average is going to be 8, and the height is 4, and the answer is going to be 32 centimeter squared. So that is the sum of the area or sum of the regular shape. In the next video, I will teach you how to calculate the area of a circle as well as the circumference. Thank you for watching and do it the own way.